API. So requestly has a rule using which you can modify the responses of an API, which is uh, which is already existing, could be running in your production environment or your staging environment. Or in fact, you can also use that feature to define responses against the non-existent APIs, which is particularly helpful when uh, you don't have your backend APIs ready and you want to code against that front end. Right. So let me just quickly uh, show how that works. So when you create a new rule, you see this option of modifying an API response. So change API response and name, right? And then uh, for the time being, I'm just taking an example of a public endpoint, which is this api.coindesk so let me just create this and uh, okay before showing this let me just show you uh, what's the response of this api when we hit through a fetch right so i'm making this uh, api call through fetch on workday.com right so you see this is the usual response and now I'm defining a different response here. So I can just say uh, demo working. Just any dummy response you can define here according to your use case and you create the rule. Uh, one little caveat here is like you have to refresh the page when you want to, when you have modified any API uh, rule. Now let me just Find the same API again. So now you can see the you get a different response this time, right? And sorry, and now you can. So this is an example of an existing API endpoint. But let me also show you an example of uh, a non-existent API. Right? For example, I can hit let's say slash uh, non-existent API endpoint and some random characters right so let me just copy this and let's change some response here as well let's say maybe at timestamp is some random value i save this tool once again i have to refresh the page because i modified the response So now in this case, I'll try to hit the API for non-existent endpoint. So you can use any domain, but in this case, I'm just using slash and then, so you see like for even for a non-existent endpoint, you get the response, which was defined in requestly. So this is particularly helpful when you don't have your backend ready and you want to like uh, code your front end. I hope this was helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions. Thank you. Have a great day.